Hello students, very good morning. From today, we are starting the subject physics. And our first lesson is units and measurement. Before starting the actual concept of units and measurement, we should know what actually we are learning in this syllabus. So let's see the index page of our syllabus. This year, we are going to learn total 14 chapters. These 14 chapters have been divided into the six units, as you can see on the screen. Units and mathematical tool is the first unit. Motion and gravitation is the second unit. Properties of matter. Sounds and optics. Electricity and magnetism. And the last unit is communication and semiconductor. Now as you can see this one, the content of this syllabus, that is total 14 chapters have been given and today we are starting that first chapter units and measurement. The part which have been highlighted, that is the first part of our syllabus in which three units have been covered. So in this chapter, we will learn all the aspects of units of different physical quantities which you have already learned in uh, the science till 10th standard as well as we will learn all the measurements and its different methods of finding out the errors. So this chapter is very much important to understand all the concepts of physics which we will learn further in 11th standard as well as in 12th standard. So definitely the question comes to your mind that what is physics? So the definition has been given over here that the physics is a quantitative science where we measure various physical quantities during the experiment. We know that in our daily life, we need to measure number of quantities, for example, size of the object, volume of any liquid, amount of matter, weights, of vegetables, of fruits, body temperature, as well as length of the clock, etc. The measurement where involves a comparison with the standard measuring units in which it is internationally accepted. For example, for measuring the mass of the given fruits, we need to we need a particular standard mass unit that is 1 kilogram or 5 gram etc. So these standards are called as units. The major quantity is expressed in terms of the number of allowed <coughs> sorry number followed by the corresponding units. For example the length of the wire is written as a 5 meter is a unit of 5 is a value of length in that unit. Different quantities are measured in different units. For example, length in meter, time in second, mass in kilogram, etc. So, we should know that the standard measure of any quantity is called as unit of that quantity. Let's discuss about what is system of unit. So, in our earlier standards, we have come across various systems like CGS, centimeter, gram, second system, MKS, that is meter, kilogram, second system, FPS, that we are not using in India, that is foot, pound, and second system, and SI unit, that is system international. The first three systems, namely CGS, MKS, and FVS, were used extensively till recently. In 1971, the 14th International General Conference on Weights and Measurements recommended the use of international system units, and that is what called as SI unit. As the SI units use decimal system, Conversion within the system is very simple and very convenient. Fundamental quantities and units. 
the physical quantities which do not depends on any other physical quantity or quantities for their measurements are known as fundamental quantities which are very much basic in nature there are seven fundamental quantities length mass time temperature electric current luminous intensity and the amount of substance fundamental units the units used to measure fundamental quantities are called as fundamental units the fundamental quantities their units and the symbols are as shown in this table just observe this table carefully in which the seven fundamental quantities have been given in first column their si system and their symbol like length is in meter mass is in kilogram kg time is in second s temperature is in kelvin capital k electric current is in ampere capital a luminous intensity is in candela cd and the amount of substance is in mole mol next the quantities which are not fundamental that means other than these seven quantities they are called as derived quantities and why they are called derived because these quantities depends on any other units and quantities in physics we come across a large number of quantities like speed momentum resistance conductivity etc which you have already heard it before these depends on some or all the seven fundamental quantities and can be expressed in terms of these quantities as you can see in this table which are considered as a derived quantities because every physical quantity has a particular uh, formula so these are the uh, these are quantities called as derived quantities and their units which can be expressed in terms of the fundamental units these all are called as derived units let's take one example so that the idea would be clear what exactly the derived quantity is suppose we have we have to find out the value of si unit of velocity so we know that the the formula for the velocity is displacement upon time so we have to consider unit of displacement divided by unit of time that means meter per second and that's why it is what meter per second so it will be what meter per second will be the unit of velocity same way we can write for the unit of momentum also so momentum is nothing but mass into velocity so mass having the unit kilogram and velocity is having the unit meter per second so that's why it will be what kilogram meter per second so these above units as i have been highlighted over here that is meter per second for velocity and kilogram meter per second for the momentum these are called as derived units because we have to consider the units of the fundamental quantities we have to consider the formula we have to use the formula of that physical quantity and we have to solve it to get the proper unit there is one more type of unit which is not considered as a fundamental as well as not as a derived and this unit is called as supplementary unit so beside this seven fundamental or basic units there are two or more units called as supplementary units and here in this syllabus we are going to learn plane angle that is d theta and solid angle that is d omega these units we will discuss in next session in detail i hope you understood this session thank you so much students